after we lifted the roof panels off and I just set them up there they're just loose but they're out of the way for now uh, what I did was I measured the height that I would like it to be and at the back here it's an additional one foot nine that I marked on this post and at the peak it was an additional one foot six so I put installed those with my um, torque screws star head torque screws these are uh, two and a half inch uh, I mounted these risers in here and then I measured to the top edge so that when I put my header beam it'll go right from here this way uh, across this back door and I left that end tail end sticking out there I hope that I can leave it out there. Uh, I'll have to see how it looks after I close the doors, put the roof on, and see uh, if I can hang an additional little overhang of uh, porch that won't get caught in the wind and ripped off. I don't know how that's going to work. I might just have to leave the brace there and then put this temporary panel as I was doing before, which is the same one that I, you know, I showed you before where we just put this up here and clamped it on uh, for a, a temporary roofing. Or I've got the peak beam in, uh, the support in, I've got two of those in. And, and on this side, I've got the one. I installed the side rail header, and I'm about to lift this one up. Of course, doing one person by myself, I have to do one end and use it as a pivot so that this goes up and down until I get it to the right height and then attach those in there. So, now you're caught up with where I'm at.